All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so I went to go look for uh, Sandra Hughes uh, back in 2020. Um, she went missing in the Sierra National Forest. Um, so I went to go look for, uh, this is the third time going up there. If you guys saw the first two videos uh, that I did on Sandra uh, Hughes, uh, you guys will see um, just the area, some, some of the places I, I look for. Uh, last time I kind of thought it was, uh, there was a body there, but uh, it turned out to be just uh, old wood, I think, that kind of, it was weird how it formed into, like, it looked like a person, but, um, so either way, uh, so I went to go look for the, uh, Sandra, except I didn't get to the part, I didn't get to the area where I wanted to go search, uh, due to the snow, uh, it wasn't snowing, it's just snow that was left over from about a week ago, I thought it would be dry, that's why I went up there, um, there were patches that were dry, but, it looks like it's the weather's been cold so i think it just it's been hanging out i guess the snow hasn't melted so i didn't want to risk it um the area there is uh you know it's pretty uh, pretty lonely uh, especially since all the campgrounds are closed and um there's really nobody around for like three or four hours i didn't see any cars or anyone um in that area so um i didn't want to risk getting stuck uh, especially since I didn't have like uh, well, you know, satellite little phones for emergencies, so I didn't want to risk it. So I just searched uh, the area where I could, and you guys will see the footage here. But let's get on with uh, some of the places they last saw her. I don't think I did this last time, so we'll go through the Google Earth, and you know, you, know, you guys could take a look here. All right, so um, I drove all the way, um, all the way up there. Um, you know, I had to go through these through this road. Let me see here. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom into the area she was at. So here we are there should I peak you guys can see that at the bottom um, And then here we go. See, we got all the little campgrounds there. They're all closed everything's uh You know back in 2020 there was a big forest fire and it burned uh, a lot of these trees down. So it's pretty uh, pretty desolate um, There are some trees still that have uh, green greenery on them, but um, So this is the area where I kind of searched hmm and then but i'll show you guys where her campsite was and then where she was last seen so this is where to this is the place where i got so now let me show you guys where um her first campsite is or was i mean um so this is the campsite that they um that they found all her stuff oh this is where she was last seen sorry about that so here's where those hunters saw her uh, so last place she was spotted alive uh, was right here now. I know uh, that little kid later on that family uh, I guess that little kid saw a ghost of her and uh, she was saying that she was She needed help, but she was the little kid said she was dead. So and she was leaning a meadow So I'm not sure. Okay. Here's her campsite uh, Where she first set up camp. Uh, this is where they found her tent and all her stuff all scattered all around um, I think it could have been an animal. I don't think she would have left it um you know she she really liked nature so i don't i don't see her you know throwing all her stuff all around you know in the in the campsite um so that could have been animal or just somebody passing by and checking all her stuff out you know but uh, so here's where they found her car in this area um she had gone off the side a little bit down like a ravine or something so uh they said she hit a tree uh but she was only traveling about 30 miles per hour so she might have just been uh, checking her map or something or distracted and she got caught so um now this area th th there's no reception so i got a feeling that she went um she just went on her way you know she probably just figured well who cares about the car i'm gonna go hiking anyway so she took her backpack or no no she took her uh sleeping bag and i think another item i forgot what it was so anyway she went hiking so i say she went hiking because some hikers saw her up here in, the, in that back area there uh, but then at the end um and here's where they saw her, uh, which is the last place she was spotted here. So by these hunters. So they just saw her leaning against a tree. Um, she didn't look good. I guess the, the hikers also said she looked a little wounded. So um, so at this point, I'm not sure if she was, you know, exhausted or, you know, what, what was going on in her mind. But she was just leaning up against a tree, just... Uh, staring off into the distance so she could have been staring back off to uh, should I peek back there um, or she could have been looking back to where she was going to go for her campsite because I got a feeling she was going to go back to her campsite 
uh, because she probably didn't know it got uh, messed up or you know all that stuff got thrown around um, so she was probably headed back there expecting everything to be back there but I don't think she made it to to her campsite um, I think somewhere down the line she must have you know either ran into an animal or she just got exhausted and uh, and gave up so uh, let's see here so uh, here is where her campsite was now if you guys could see you know on the 3d you can see the uh, the terrain you know the terrain is not it's not easy to um, to maneuver through you know as you're hiking even though um, well, let's measure it here I think it's about uh, three and a half miles I believe it is let's see so I measure a straight line from where she was last seen over to her campsite. Yeah, so it's about three and a half miles. Uh, but the thing is, you can't walk straight. Um, you know, we, you know, you know that you know in this in this terrain, you're not going to be able to walk straight. So she had to have gone. Let me turn this around. She might have had to gone around. You know, off to the right a little bit. Which this is the whole area where I wanted to explore, but I wasn't able to get there due to the snow. Um, it was just. I didn't want to risk it, you know, it's just, that would have been one of these uh, stories that people tell, you know, tell on, on YouTube about people going missing here. That would have been one, uh, and I didn't want to go missing either. So I played it safe and I just searched the area where I was able to. Uh, but anyway, she, so she, somewhere between here and her campsite, I think she probably um, just got exhausted, you know, or uh, an animal might have got her. There's a lot of bears, you know. There's bears in the area. Where I, you'll see some tracks that I, I kind of caught on the drone footage. Um, and then this is where the area I was searching. So she could she could be wandering around still. I mean, I doubt it, but you never know. Um, all right, so here I took some footage before I even got to the area. So down there, I'm just pointing to the area where um, where she last was, where her campsite, and then. Uh, where they found her car. That's the last place the hunter saw her, about there. Um, but I didn't want to show you guys, I didn't want to play the audio for this because uh, it was really windy up there, so it just sounded horrible. I don't like when, when they do that on, on YouTube. Um, so here's uh, my drone footage. Um, it kind of shows you some of the, some of the, just the trees that have been burnt off. You kind of see all the, the plants are trying to regrow again, but you know, it's probably gonna take a while for it to go back the way it was. You know, it's just kind of sad to see all this, all these trees gone. Um, here, I, you know, I'd fly over and with, it's pretty hard sometimes to see, especially if the connection's not clear, it's gonna look blurry. So some of the stuff, you know, like this looks like, uh, it looked like a bone from up in the air, but once I got close, I could tell it was just a, you know, a plant and stuff or just shrubs uh, here. So I, you know, I came close. And then some of the ice too also look like uh, like bone. So you know I had to kind of check. The snow looked like bone. I mean, um, and you know I checked different areas along the roads too. You know she could have gotten close to the road, but you know maybe didn't make it. So here I just made made sure there wasn't anything uh, leaning against that um, that tree there. So I checked. Uh, that's a dirt road. Uh, it's all just covered in snow. You can see all the little animal tracks, you know, it's kind of cool, but um, you'll see the bear tracks later on. Uh, so I came close, you know, sometimes uh, the shrubbery, when it's all gathered up like that, it kind of looks, it could be, you know, there could be stuff underneath it. Um, yeah, so, you know, as I was searching, I mean, this whole area seems kind of uh, weird. Oh, that looked like a skeleton right there, but... Uh, when I got close to it, you know, you guys can see right there, it's just, uh, it's just rocks kind of laid out like that, but you never know. I had to check, you know, I had to make sure, you know, that it wasn't anything weird, especially because this was kind of far in, you know, I couldn't hike up to some of these areas. It, it's pretty, pretty hard. And, um, you know, like I said, there's wild animals there, so I'm not, wasn't prepared for that. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to get stuck either. So. Uh, let's see here. So then, you know, I kind of look over. I was looking for a uh, clothing item. Sometimes clothing items, they make it. I mean, it's been, uh, let's say, about two years. So, you know, she, whatever she was wearing could still be out there, you know. Out. I mean, now that it's kind of snowed, it's kind of a lot of stuff is covered up. But, um, you know, still looking for signs. This is a weird thing right here. I, from up, you know, when I was flying by, it kind of looked like somebody hunched over, you know, like maybe at a campsite or something. But, 
it wasn't now um well the weird part is when when i was over here in this area um it i thought i saw somebody cross the road um but it was more like a i guess like a ghost person um i don't know if you guys if you guys believe in that stuff but so it looked like a hiker you know with hiking attire and he crossed the road but there was no you know i checked it out with my drone there was no footprints or anything so there was nobody really there it's just um you know i don't know i don't know if you guys believe in ghosts and stuff but you know there was something something was there but uh who knows it could be you know maybe years ago there was an accident there i don't know how many people have, have died in this little forest or in this section but in certain areas it does feel more creepy than others so i don't know you kind of sense weird things in certain areas who knows what that's all about um so i kept on you know exploring with my drone different areas uh looking from above see if i saw any um kind of clothes but yeah you guys could see the um just the trees you know like they, they're all pretty pretty burnt but they're coming back you know so hopefully we'll uh they'll get they'll get green in a few years hopefully um i checked some of these little green areas that i was able to see all the way to the ground uh just to make sure uh, there's anything there but see some of that some of those shrubberies are kind of tangled up so it kind of looks almost like uh, like bones or something but um, at this point, I was just looking for either bones or clothes or any kind of sign of uh, just somebody in distress. You know, I'm sure hikers go, hunters go around this area too. Uh, so, you know, there could be you know, human tracks too. See that? That's just snow melting, but it kind of looks like uh, like some bones and stuff. But uh, and then I looked here. Looked like this this area here is kind of flooded too. But you kind of see through the water. Uh, some of that stuff looks kind of creepy though, but I think it's just uh, just wet uh, wood from the trees. Um, yeah, you guys can see, you know, I was kind of being careful because if my drone got stuck here, uh, I was probably like a mile away from, from this spot here. So, and a mile in this, you know, it probably would take take a little while it's not like just you could walk just straight you know you have to go around some some hills and stuff some rough terrain so um you guys can see the 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 prints there um some of them some of them look like uh human prints but some of them look like hooves but look you see on the left there uh those are bear those are bear paws uh, you can see the little claws there on the left uh, it kind of went kind of fast there but um, you see some other prints there. Then there's prints that just end. You know, I don't know. Um, that looks like everybody just gathered in one little area there. I don't know if that's animal prints or uh, human boots. Kind of looks like uh, human boots. You know, walking around could be hooves though. There's a lot of them there, so there must have been some gathering here, and then maybe that's what the bear came to check out, but. Um, yeah, there's there were some green patches uh, here and there. You guys could see that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure uh, what happened to Sandra, but I got a feeling she's still out there. Um, I really don't feel like she's still alive, but you never know. I mean, they say she knew how to survive out here in the the wilderness. So I mean, who knows? All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody uh, that watches and supports uh, the channel. Thanks for subscribing, all the subscribers. Um, you know, uh, share with your friends. Uh, I'm still planning to go out to look for more people, so uh, hopefully I could find some people or some clues, you know, pretty soon. So, um, hopefully, see you next time. Bye.